Hey, y'all, we are back with some more TV. Um, yeah, this is, obviously, we are like, oh, 100 shows. Who knows how many this is going to end up being. We'll just keep going until we're done, until we're tired of talking about TV. Um, so I put in, this time I tried to put in some of our bigger ones, um, just simply because... Again, we have no idea what number this is going to end up being, so I don't want to just be like, these are the last ones, <laughs> and then, like, you know, yeah. It's so, all stuff we like. It's not so much in order. Right. All right, so we're going to start with one that we both like, and this is Freaks and Geeks, which was a sadly very short-lived show. What was it? One season? One, two seasons? One season, yeah. Yeah. Like 14 episodes, I think. Fantastic cast. Yeah. Um, just, Characters are awesome. Yeah, absolutely um, amazing. <laughs> funny, poignant, nostalgia in your face. It's fantastic. Is it 80s or 90s? Well, it's like late... 80s, I mean, early, early 90s, early yeah. Early 90s, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say the clothing is 90s. Yeah. yeah, so... um, It's like right on the cusp. Right. But it's definitely that, like, era that we both knew. Um, I was probably... I was a nerdy freak, but I would more... The freaks were more my group, and Sir Chonk was definitely a geek. No, I was beloved by all. Well, you were beloved by all, but you looked like the geeks. Oh, yes, that's true. <laughs> also, you played D&D. &D. All right, there's also that. But yeah. also sports. D&D &D and sports. Right, he was one of those, like, <laughs> probably in the middle round, where, like, he looked dorky... Pl was I dorky. was definitely dorky, but I was also but also good at sports. Was, right. <laughs> well, you went to a school of eight people. And all all eight of them were best pals of mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was more on the like, it was like Anna Green anti-social group. There. Seven people in the school, right? <laughs> one room schoolhouse. We're, we're sharing one book. <laughs> We all live within, like, a tree branch of the school. When when Sir Chuck and I started dating, we were both English majors, and I remember asking him all these times, how did you not read that? How have you not read that? And he said, we had one book. Our school had just the one book. <laughs> we had excerpts of Great Expectation and, like, two Emily Dickinson poems in it. That's all we had. <laughs> so like, English was exciting to you. Yeah, so I was excited to go to a college that they had more than one book. We had like eight six, at our college. Six <laughs> our library was not the best. <laughs> I couldn't find a copy of Catcher in the Rye and in our library. Just what has to do with Freaks and Geeks. Anyway, so Freaks and Geeks. We're relevant to us. We really yeah. related to this. Mm -hmm. um, so this is yours. I've never seen this. Oh, yeah. Moonlighting. This show is great. I haven't seen it in a long, long time. So I'm not sure how like dated it is. I assume it's pretty dated. Uh, but just great character dynamics between like the main few characters. Uh, it's like detective comedy. There was like a little like too much romancy stuff for me, but that's like the third part of it. Mostly it's just really fun detective comedy stuff with great characters, cool side characters, and of course the two main people, uh, Bruce Willis and Silver Shepherd, are awesome in this. Great show. I've never seen it. Um, then we're moving into one that I really like and Sir Chuck likes. I don't know why it wasn't on your list, but and this is coupling. This, and to be clear, this is the British version. Oh, with the pillows. Yeah, they brought it here to the U.S., and it was it a nightmare. Um, the humor just doesn't work the same way. Yeah, it was very much a British show, and it needs to be a British show, but I love this show. It was so funny, and, like, what's really funny about it is it was, like, I mean, and I think British comedy seems to be able to do a lot more than, I don't know, we're uptight over here or something, but, like... Yeah. I wouldn't say it was edgy, but it was like it's just obnoxious, pretty it's, like open about more sexuality like and sexually comedic than you would see on like a network channel in the U.S. They would like this would never make it on the network channel in the U.S. Right? I mean, it's like the equivalent of Friends, but it's like the comedy so much more like I don't want to say raunchy, but just obnoxious than yeah, you would see on yeah, something just like a lot Friends. More heavy sexual stuff, right? Um, and just. Yeah, it's very British. Once you suck the British out of it, it doesn't work. Yeah, it really doesn't you know work. I, mean? I don't know why. The um, actors it was were great. One of my jokes, I kind of forgot, just forgot to think about it. It's like this one and the in-betweeners are just so obnoxious yeah. and hilarious. <laughs> and British, without the Britishness, it just kills the vibe. Isn't, like, Jeff in, like, a million things now? Yeah, he's in that... Isn't he in uh, British people who are pour wine through napkins and stuff? 
Don't Abby? Downtown Abby. Abby. Is it, is Down Abby? Abby? I don't think so. None of these people are in downtown No, Abby? I don't think so. Like Downtown Abby, not Downtown Abby. Anyway. But uh, this is show's that, hilarious. Is that Jenny Agatha? No. No, not. they talk about oh, Jenny right. Agatha. Oh, that's right. They're obsessed with Jenny so Agatha. They're that's obsessed right. with Jenny Agatha. We didn't know who that was. Oh. And then oh. when we were in London <laughs> seeing um, Equus, right? Yeah. She was in it. And we were like, Jenny Agatha's in it. And we were, was it Equus she was in? Or yeah, is it Three Days of Rain? Yeah. Okay, it was Equus. I and shouted out, oh my God, Jenny Agatha. And people thought I was being a jerk because, of course, like, Dana Radcliffe is it, and I didn't care about that. Right. I was all excited. <laughs> but we, we already knew Dana Radcliffe was yeah. in it. And we had never heard of Jenny Agatha except from Coupling. So um, now we know who she is. Mm-hmm. So you British people are probably like, oh my God, yeah. these Americans. Dursley's in it also. Yeah, Vernon Dursley yeah. was in Vernon. Yeah, Uncle yeah. Vernon. And some girl. Yes. So girl who's was not who's probably like a super famous actress by now. But you would think. Anyway, and then the next one is the two of us one, um, and I'll let you start because you love this show. Yeah. So what we do in the shadows, like, it's hard to explain how astounding this show is. <laughs> you so just funny. have to watch like two episodes because the first episode, although great, you might be confused by like the style of comedy, but by like the second episode, you probably get it, and it's. It's arguably the funniest show that exists. It's so absurd. It's like vampires hanging out in New York and generally being pretty inept. <laughs> the characters are spectacular. Um, and, of course, it's... Um, what's his name? The dude. Matt Berry? Well, Matt Berry's awesome. No, the... the, 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 the Taiko Waititi. Taiko uh, and, and, Jer- and Jermaine Clement. Jermaine Clement. The, half the guys from Flight of the Concord and the dude who does, like, I don't know, a ton of funny New Zealand stuff. Uh, it's so funny. And they were in the original there's, movie. Yeah, that there's just... so many guest appearances. There's so many incredible characters. The dialogue is just endlessly quotable. It's amazing. If you haven't seen the show and you like things that are funny, dear God, you've got to watch this show. We quote this all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, anytime I exaggerate, in which you're not going to know yeah. if you see, haven't seen the show, you but anytime I exaggerate, Babadook. right, you've only seen one Babadook, <laughs> and then that's a different woman. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny if you've Creepy seen the show. Paper. Yeah, the show is. Anyway. But it's like it's a lot like The Office. Like it's one of those shows, and like Superstore did this for me too. Mm-hmm. It took me like two or three episodes for each of them to really get into them. But then once you're in, it is the funniest thing you've ever seen, and you're all like, "How did I not see this as funny?" And like it, it's one of those again, the camera crews filming them shows, like right. the jobs in them. But what I like about it is, like, in, like, episode four or whatever, one of, like, the vampires who shows up, like, he hasn't shown up, he's like, who are these people, like, talking to the camera right. crew, and he eats one of them, and like, hey, we need him. <laughs> yeah, it's just hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. I mean, the cast is, and I mean, Matt Berry is just always yeah. funny anyway, and then they're... Incredible cast, yeah. Yeah, I, I love this show. It's... It's slowly gone from, like, a show that was funny to, like, one of our absolute favorites. Yeah, I love it. All right, so this one's for you, even though I do like it. I mean, what have I got to say about The Simpsons? It's been, what, 38 seasons or something like that? Right. Um, And what's absurd about this show... Is it is still managed to be still funny? funny? <laughs> and it doesn't feel, like, redundant or boring. At least to me, it doesn't. Like, I've seen hundreds of episodes of this show, right? And it's, you know, they have a, they have a huge group of side characters... But you're still getting the core characters in, like, every episode. And somehow it's still, for me, never boring at all. It's just still funny. They they, they keep, similar to South Park in that they keep up to date on, like, what's happening. Yeah. So their, their episodes are all really relevant and, like, comedic. And they make a ton of pop culture references. I mean, you know, everybody knows The Simpsons. I don't have to say much about this. It's yeah. Just, it's legendary. And what's funny about The Simpsons is that it can still be entertaining. Even if, like, every episode isn't, like a total hit, mm-hmm. you're just like, how are they, how do they even have any material left right. at this point? You know, like, how have you had this many, what are this, a 20 episodes a season? 25 this a season? 20 something, I think. Yeah, and like... Yeah, they have like 300 something episodes, I think. I forget. It's gotta be more than that. Oh, it's yeah. probably like 600. It's like 500 episodes, I forget. Yeah, and like, how? How are you still making it funny? Like, wouldn't you just run out of ideas at this point? Um, I mean, obviously, the animation gives them so much more flexibility. Right, you can leave Barton, like, you know, grade school for for 30 years and get away with it. Right. That, you know? um, so, moving into another animated show, my favorite, which is Daria. Um, also very short-lived, unfortunately. Thing with Daria, 
is when I was in college, one of my friends was like, I think you need to sue the creators of Daria for stealing your essence <laughs> and making a show based on your existence. Because I was like so much like Daria. I mean, I even looked like Daria. <laughs> You're still like Daria, that you hate everything. Right. Like, I, it's very much my personality. Like, I look like her. It's kind of absurd. I don't like, know if you wear shorts that much. She's wearing a skirt. I don't know if you wear skirts that much. I did. Then, oh. in the 90s, when that was stylish. Oh, sorry. I didn't wear them <laughs> in the 90s, whether it was stylish or not. Yeah, well, I know. Um, but anyway, yeah, I love Daria. It's super, super funny. Um... I mean, it's kind of one joke, which is she hates everything. Yeah, show a thing, show people being happy, and show her show up and be annoyed with it. And yeah. That's the whole series. That's pretty much my life, so I found yeah. it funny. Uh, so another one we both like is, and apparently it got canceled So from <gasps> Apple, so I'm really hoping what? another network picks it up. And part of the reason I think it got canceled is it wasn't getting a lot of views because no one has Apple. Yeah. Um, and this is The After Party, and this show is hilarious. It is a comedy murder mystery but it's had two seasons and in both seasons every suspect will get interviewed essentially to yeah, see like their own special episode right so one episode every episode's about one of the suspects but each character essentially has their own genre yeah so in amazing. like the first season you had a musical you had yeah, a horror the, the you best had... episode ever is the is the musical with what's his name <laughs> singing the three dots to oh yeah what's his name what's the actor's name uh schwartz middleditch schwartz schwartz yeah schwartz. ben schwartz ben schwartz ben schwartz yeah yeah he's like john raffio yeah, john Raff- <laughs> well, yeah but ben schwartz is the actor He's got his episode, and he, he sings, like, just three, like, original songs in the episode. They're all amazing. It, it's incredible the sort of, like, how they manage to keep, keep one storyline and yet diversify, like, the setting and the theme and the mood for, like, every episode. It's great. Yeah. The more have, recent one, I think they have, like, an 80s episode. They had a, yeah, 80s, like, an 80s slasher. They had a film noir. They oh, had the noir a one, Bridgerton yeah. kind of yeah, thing, Indiana clear. Jones. I don't know who, like, the director slash... It's the guys who do the Spider Verse uh, movies. Oh, well, people love those too. Yeah, because these guys are obviously I think, know what they're doing. Sure, yeah. So I don't know who they are, but whenever they do something next, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, I really think the only reason it didn't do well is just that no one's yeah, no one goes using to Apple. Apple. Um, I'm pretty... No one's watching Masters of the Sky or whatever or the Air. <laughs> it's on Apple TV too, right? <laughs> yeah, and Severance, which everyone's saying oh, is yeah. good. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is um, Miller, isn't, yeah, Christopher Miller, isn't he part of the, like, I have no idea. Miller and Lord? I yeah. Don't, I don't know. Yeah, Lord and Miller, they do the Spider-Verse movies, they did the 21 Jump Street movies. Oh, all of it good. Um, they did the Lego movies. So, oh, like, yeah, so they, they have a good idea. Yeah, like, they're, they I mean, you get a sense of, you obviously can tell they know what they're doing when yeah. it comes to humor. Um, and even just style, like, knowing what the style that somebody likes is, so... Um, if you haven't seen this, you have to catch it, and hopefully somebody else picks it up because it would be amazing to see like more of it. But I mean, eventually you're gonna run out of mm-hmm. <laughs> like they're the gonna have. Is, is it's concluded. It's, it's a one season is like the full storyline. Yeah, you don't yeah. miss anything. It's just I want more of it because it's just fun. Right. But you know, again, maybe it'll be the kind of thing that comes back later, mm-hmm. or they do a, I don't know, a recap or re- re- what reunion kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so the next one's a U one that I would probably like. Unfortunately, I uh, really only saw a few episodes. See you, the Peaky Fookin' Blinders. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is a show that I heard I would love for like years before I finally watched it. I just watched it like two years ago. Yeah, I like think a so. year and a half ago. Uh, and yeah, it's awesome. I mean, if you want post World War One gangster Irish guys doing stuff, this is like the show for it. The set design is immaculate. The cast is great. Um, the action sequences are like Godfather-esque in that like they really they don't give you a lot of them, but what they give you really hits hard and pays off really well. Um, yeah, massive cast. Great, great thing. I mean, I, I don't know. Again, this is one of those shows I feel like you know it exists. It's probably sitting on your Netflix queue. If you haven't watched it yet, you should watch it. It's awesome. Yeah, it's one of those shows that, like, whenever I'd walk in the room and you would just watch it, I'm like, this looks amazing. But it's just, like, I don't care so much about, like, gangs and, like, this kind of story. So I just, like, I'm probably not going to sit through, like, five seasons of this. Although, 
I wouldn't mind looking at Killian Murphy that often. <sighs> Who doesn't? <laughs> um, and then, speaking of same time period and historical uh, drama, I, what I do love is Downton Abbey. Um, or the Piago. Clearly, I'm way more of a character-driven person than plot, because I don't like a lot of, like, action-y plots, because I always feel like there's, like, too much emphasis on, like, shooting people and, like, violence than there is on, like... Well, you have that cutthroat flower competition. Well, that's what I'm saying. What I love about Downton Abbey is it kind of has a lot of the same elements of, like, Peaky Blinders, where everybody's, like, you know, stabbing Mm -hmm. each other in the back and talking about each other, but it... doesn't have the same elements at all. Well, right, it does. It's just not in an action-packed way. So you're saying is there's people who have disagreements? Yes. Yeah, that's in every show. Right, but I like the characters, and I like the... I love the historical setting... Um, and I love, like, just the, the dynamic of, you know, class structure, because obviously it was during an era where, like, that was starting to become a real issue. Um, the acting is phenomenal. I haven't seen the second movie yet, and it's in France, so I don't know why I haven't watched it. I did well, watch the one when the Queen came. That one guy, brother guy, pours wine through a napkin, because we does every episode, and then... Daisy says something that makes her feel Daisy's dead. stupid. Daisy's dead? Oh, no, Daisy's alive. I thought you were talking about the about young, Daisy's the dead. young the daughter. The kitchen girl. Yeah, right, Daisy. <laughs> the hot one, the hot one, and the other one, the three daughters. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, the hot daughter is dead. <laughs> oh, right, and the somewhat hot daughter is still alive, and the right. other one's still alive, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, Maggie Smith is also in it. Yeah, which is a weekend. Yeah, honestly, anytime Maggie Smith is doing a thing, it's something I want to watch. The problem I have with this show is the non-Maggie Smith scenes after, like, season one got really boring for me. I didn't give a crap. (laughs) Right, because there was a lot of people just talking. Yeah, it's like, well, well, maybe I should go. Well, yes, I suspect that you should, right? Like that that Eddie 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 (laughs) All right, so the last one is an animated from both of us, which is about as far from Downton Abbey as you can get. Well, I think it's very similar. It's just less Happy Meal focused. <laughs> Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, Meatwad, Master Shake, and Frylock. I mean, what else do you need? We got a meat bridge. You know, I'm not a big fan of when people see like comedy or weird things and they go, that person does a lot of drugs. But honestly, the people who made Aqua Teen Hunger Force were probably high when they made this. I don't agree. Partially just They're because. They're just enjoying a Happy Meal. Yeah, and then they were hungry because they were high, and they were like, what if they were coming to life? Also, it's about weed. Only some of it. <laughs> Most about the next-door neighbor's pool. Right. Yeah, so, you know, there's very few times where, like, someone says, oh, it's created, they must be high, and I'm like, nah, I don't know. No, this one I can definitely buy. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's so funny, though. Yeah, it's uh, obnoxious. It's really weird, and I like it. I love Master Shake. Basically. Isn't there a movie that's on HBO Max now? There is. I haven't seen it, but I probably should. Yeah. I had a glorious stuffed Master Shake, and fortunately I sold it. You sold for a lot of money. That's true, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to find, like, old Aqua Teen stuff. Um, you can get, like, new versions, mm. but, like, yeah, this stuff is, like, apparently high-value mm. items if you if you have them. Um, but, yeah, Aqua Teen Hunger Force is hilarious. It's It's just nonsense. Nothing even happens. That's what, like, 18 minutes long yeah. each episode? Yeah, 12 I'm minutes? That long, yeah. Yeah, they're just, it was on, like, as one of those shows in the breaks on, like, Adult Swim where they'd have, like, mm-hmm. actual shows, but they would be, like, 25 minutes or 30 minutes. Yeah. And then they would have, like, a short, because of commercials, they would have mm-hmm. time to throw in some 12 minute things. So, yep. So those are some more TV shows you should check out. Um, yeah. Yay. Boop. <laughs>